Hello and welcome to Sudokana. Here is an odd even pair Sudoku puzzle which was featured in the latest Sudoku Grand Prix. This one was organized by Poland and the sole author was Piotr Gdowski. So the, the rule is quite simple for this puzzle. Every time we have a domino here, it must contain an odd digit and an even digit. And that's it, the, the rest is just plain Sudoku. And it was actually a hard puzzle. It was the highest pointer in the round with 88 points. And uh, I solved it. I was bold enough to begin with this puzzle, but I had to bifurcate to solve it. I tried it again some time later and I had to bifurcate, to bifurcate again. <laughs> I see what I can do this time. If I re remember correctly, the beginning is <clears throat> really smooth. This 4 goes here. We get a 3-8 pair. We get an 8 here. 4, four is somewhere here. Actually, those digits are 3, 4, and 9, so we get a 9 at the bottom, and a 3, 4 pair. Six. We get a 6 in this domino, and it will be paired with an odd digit, which is not 1, 7, or 9, so it will be with 3 or 5. So we get 5 or 6 here, 3, 5 or 6 here. And we know that 6 is among those digits. And then we must get a 2 on this row and it can only go here because of this 2. <coughs> There has to be a 9 in one of those two cells and I don't see what else we must have. But now I see something. There's a 1 here. This digit is even. It's not a 6, so it has to be 2, 4 or 8. 9 is not here, it's not here, so we get a 9 in this position. We still need 4, 5 and 3 on this column, so that's 4 or 5, 3 or 4, 3 or 5. Here we need 6, 9 and 5. We need the 6 here with 5 or 9. So, and this, this has to be 5. We need the 6 here because the even digit must be here. So this is a 6-9 pair, and it resolves this domino. We get 5 on the left, 6 on the right. And this 5 solves the first column. Those two digits now must be 7 and 8. And actually, we can decide which is which, because on those dominoes we get exactly 3 odds and three evens. Those are odd, so this one must be even. It's an eight, and we get this seven. That is not eight, and those are two, three, two, four, and seven. And because of this four, we get two or seven here, two, four, or seven. And one of them is seven, obviously. So this is all smooth. This should pretty soon grind to a halt. That is a 5. This 3 resolves the 3-8 pair. And now there will be two options here. Those are 8 and 9 in some order. And at the bottom we must have 4 and 7, and they must be synchronized with what is on top to fulfill the rule of one odd and one even. 
where should I look next? At the bottom, we still need two, five, eight, and seven. We get restrictions. This column still needs two, three, six, and seven. Not many restrictions. This can only be two or seven. And I put all candidates in this cell. I usually don't put more than three candidates, but this is a special puzzle. Those cells must have one, three, and eight. And here, on this row, six is not here, it's not there. I get a six here. It's paired with an odd digit that can only be one or seven, because this cell is nine, five, and three. Something interesting is that here we have three odd digits and three even digits. That's a fourth odd digit. So those digits have opposite parity. And those two have the same parity. What will, will it be useful? I can't say right now. And here we still need we still need a one somewhere. One here makes this a four. One here makes a, I don't know what. <laughs> and this is where things are getting trickier. But let's see something on this row. We still need a five and a nine. And if this is nine, then five and nine must go in those two cells. But if this is a nine, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know what I could deduce. I don't see what I could deduce. Mm. So where, what can we do? This is not two or seven. So the remaining possibilities are one, five and six. Here, this is not two, three, seven, eight, six. So the remaining possibilities are one, four, five, and nine, I think. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. And the interesting part of it is that most candidates are odd. So four is the strange one. If this is a four, then this has to be odd. And there are plenty of candidates. But if this is odd, then this has to be even. And only two and four are possible. And in this case, if this is two or four, then it has a lot of impact on the rest of the row. So that seems to be a good way to bifurcate when you're stuck. Let's say this is four. No, sorry. Let's say this is not four then this has to be two or four. Then we get a two, four, seven, triple on this row. And we get here a three. And 
this, three makes this a one. And now on this row we must have five and nine, and because of this five, this is nine, this is five. So we get here eight, seven, here nine, four. Meaning that this cell here can never be a four. Not sure this is really a nice deduction, but this is true. In this case, this has to be a two. We get the seven here. We get the four here, two, seven. And I think this is wrong because this two now is contradicting this one. Yes, I think this is I think this is correct. We get a contradiction. I have absolutely no memory of getting to that very contradiction in the past, but this is probably a way to to state that, in fact, this has to be a 4. Of course, if you found a more subtle or a more elegant way of getting some similar deduction, I, I can't wait to read it. And now this 4 have massive impact. We get the 7, 8 on top, the 1 here, and the 1 there. 9 and the 4 here, and the 4 also gives this 3 and this 4. Now let's ponder where we are. This now must be an odd digit. It's not 137, so it has to be 5 or 9. At the bottom, we still need two five nine. This is this is not a five. This is not nine. Eight must go here on this row. And and then this one, this digit must be odd. It's not five three or nine, so it has to be one or seven. And this still has lots of potential candidates. Hmm. So where should I look next? I think this cell now is a naked single. Yes, it can only be a one. All other eight digits are here, so this is one. And now on this column, one must be here. Right. This now can't be six, it has to be five or nine. And we find a triple here, two, five, nine, triple. So these digits now must be three and seven. And this is mm, two, six or nine, but it's not nine, it has to be two or six, which is an even digit. So this one has to be odd. It's a nine. I get this five, this two, lots, of deductions, of direct deductions, then this nine bounces here to give a five. And we're getting there. This row still needs a nine, it must go here. This column needs a four, it has to go here. This four now gives a two here, seven and four. Mm. 
this uh, this column needs three and seven because of this seven i get a three here makes this an a this a three at the bottom we get a three and seven and now this is almost over this is an even digit and it can only be an eight that's a two that's a seven and we get this two this seven this three and this six and this finishes the cell and i think it was rather efficient because i made the correct elimination and i i really don't know whether there is a more um, direct approach i mean a more direct deduction that this uh, somewhat convoluted uh, elimination but not that incredibly difficult elimination i just had to find the right assumption to make and the fact that there was only this special option here was a guide to choose how to bifurcate at this very point thanks for watching this video and see you soon on sudokanar